it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Capricorn. This is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for singles, and this is for the month of February, so that you're single. This is for singles, okay? This is for singles. Capricorn, what do we got for Capricorn? For February, Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Queen of Swords reverse. You could be. You could. This could be an ex. Okay. This is, or this could be you. This is a bitter woman. Okay. This is bitter. This is somebody that is revengeful. This is somebody that is really hard to love. Okay. This could be anybody taking on this energy. Could be you. Could be the cross watcher. Could be vice versa. Whatever. This is an individual that is hard to love. Somebody that is revengeful, bitter, and vindictive. Okay. Um, could be an ex. Usually the Queen of Swords can resemble an ex. Or this could be a wicked stepmother type of energy. This is a, an individual who is wicked. Okay. The Hermit. A need for introspection. Time out. Uh, time to reflect. Time to withdraw from others. Maybe you're dealing with an ex that... And this is an ex, right? You're single. That you need to heal from. Because this is a card of healing. This is realizing your true identity. Listening to yourself only. Okay? It's time to completely go within. To plan your next move. To come up with plan B. To figure out who you are at this time in your life. Perhaps you were dealing with a nasty individual in the past. Who, you know, made you forget who you are. Oh, gosh, the Hierophant Reverse. The Hierophant Reverse is a father figure who has been abusing his power, okay? Somebody that is very much so uh, focused on social pressure, okay? This is a feeling of being disgraced. Somebody that is not very spiritual. Somebody that... Um, doesn't believe in a higher power, okay? Or doesn't have faith that there's a reason why things happen. This is poor counsel. This is having a hard time doing the right thing due to society. There's no commitment. Um, no commitment, no spiritual plan. And, and, and it's like there's a need to go through some sort of awakening here. Because this is becoming consciously aware and this is lack of spirituality so maybe it's time to refocus and wake up wake up maybe you've been uh really belittled by a person somebody that stole your energy somebody that kept you down somebody that lied to you somebody that was revengeful and ridiculous played games with you um, the hangman resisting change. I feel like you must struggle through. You have to surrender. You have to let it go. You're holding on to something with an ex. Now you're single, but you're holding on to something. Maybe it's just bitterness. Maybe you're still holding on to the ex. Maybe you need, maybe you're in still learning some sort of lesson. It is definitely time for a time out. It's time to break free from this energy that you are still hanging on to. Maybe you're still restricting yourself, okay? You're restricting yourself to an ex. And this ex is cold. This ex is cold. This ex was bitter. This is an ex. The Queen of Swords is an ex. And it's a time to heal. And it could take a long time to heal. Healing isn't an overnight process. It could take years, Okay? Temperance, temperance reversed. This is going overboard, engaging in negative patterns, a need to re examine. Capricorn, you really need to re examine. You need to re examine your path. For some of you, you're still going back and forth with an ex. I don't care if you're single or not. If you're still bitter over the ex, then you need to heal. There is definitely bitterness here. There's hate. Or there's, it's not, you know, I don't want to let this person go. It's hanging on to the ex. And if you're, if you're still hanging on to the ex, you sure as hell aren't ready for another relationship, right? So we have somebody, this is inappropriate behavior. You, and you could be getting ill, okay? You need to definitely re-examine your, your actions, okay? 
something doesn't feel right. And there's a lot of social pressure. Maybe there's social pressure to stay married or to stay in a commitment with this person. You know, or to to not give up. I don't know what it is, but you are hanging on to something that is you're not on the same path with this person. You're not. There's no more commitment here. It's over. The commitment has been severed. The relationship is no longer on the same page. But we have somebody here that is resisting learning a lesson for sure. Definitely not healthy. We have unhealthy energies where somebody is engaging in some uh, going overboard, uh, ex engaging in excessive... Uh, behavior, holding on. Why can't you just let go? Really, somebody needs to let go. You need, and it's like you need to allow and accept change, but this is refusing. It really is. It's really, really refusing to accept change right here. So there's an ex that is causing bitterness or this, or hate or something like that. It's a need to go within and withdraw. You need to find your strength to restrain yourself, to let go. If you were to look up the strength card, let go. The strength to let go, to heal. This is a healing period for you. And somebody has been masking. They've been masking their pain, okay, with addictions. And this is going overboard. This is extremes. It's like, and, and there's extreme highs and lows too. It's like one minute you might be over the X. Okay. One minute it's like, I'm done with that bitch or that jerk or whatever. And the next day it's like, oh, I can't, I can't, I can't. You know, you need to stop getting on the roller coaster ride. Stay off of it. You may be dealing with an ex that is enjoying their power over you. They're enjoying it because you keep engaging. They love it. Okay. This is somebody who enjoys power. They love it. And this is a Leo. Could be dealing with a Leo. Could be dealing with a Virgo. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Could be dealing with a Taurus. Could be dealing with a Pisces. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Now I have to tell you, we have six cards and five of them are majors. So when you get majors, that's universal uh, change, okay? That's like the universe, God, higher power in charge, okay? So there's a higher power in charge of this split. It wasn't meant to be. It wasn't meant to last. Please let it go. It's out of your control. You can't control it. But you probably are dealing with a person that is enjoying their control over you because they see that you can't accept it. They love it. You're feeding their ego by engaging with them. And they have unhealthy behaviors and they're bringing it on to you. And you're allowing it. This person is unhealthy. But they get to steal your energy because you let them, right? You let them. Ten of Cups. There's your social pressure to stay in a relationship. Somebody is feeling pressured to have a relationship. Okay? Or to stay committed to the person that they were with. That's social pressure. But this relationship has kept you in a situation where there was lack. It's really time to accept what happened and to let, it's like a lesson needs to be learned. There's an opportunity for a new relationship as soon as you let go. Seven of Swords, you're cheating yourself of happiness. You really are. Because you keep looking back. You keep looking back. You keep, you keep looking at this person who has control over you. You're letting them have control. When you have an opportunity for a new relationship... It's like you're punishing yourself and you're letting this person, your ex, punish you. Sever the ties with this person. Look at things from a new perspective. You have an opportunity to have a relationship with somebody else. You do. But it's like you're throwing it away. The Ace of 
pentacles reversed. This is a lost opportunity. It's like you're throwing away a golden opportunity for a happy relationship because of your ex. So I think in February, Cancer, or did I say Cancer? Maybe it's a Cancer. Maybe it's a Cancer that you have an opportunity with Capricorn. I feel as though you need to find your strength and your courage and your confidence to let go of whatever this ex that you have been hanging on to. You need to let go of the bitterness. Don't worry about what your father thinks or your grandfather or the family or the, the other person's family or whatever. Who gives a shit what they think? That's social pressure. It's about happiness. It's about accepting change. And we have somebody here that is, is not, okay? The temperance card. Before the temperance card is the death card. Okay, so it's already happened. It's already ended. We have somebody here that is refusing to evolve. It's dead. It's done. It's over. This change was universal. Stop cheating yourself of a golden opportunity for something solid for happiness. It's time to withdraw and go within and reflect on what happened and release it. Stop going, getting on the roller coaster with this person. Take the control away from them. They're playing with you. Absolutely playing with you. Because they like the attention that you give them. Refusing to accept an, an, an ending. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's time to withdraw from others, completely go within, realize your true identity. And when you're ready to come out, come out. But right now is a time of being alone and healing from this ex. And that is what I got. Good luck.